the United Nations has denounced threats against Colombians taking part in peace negotiations in Cuba. The talks, of course, are between Colombia's government and the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, known as FARC. Michelle Begay has the story. In an interview with CCTV, the United Nations resident and humanitarian coordinator in Colombia, Fabrizio Hoshet, revealed that of the 24 victims participating in the peace talks between Colombia's government and the rebel group FARC, seven have been vilified by the press, social media, and even politicians who opposed the talks. Three um, have suffered death threats. Uh, now, this is a symptom of a society that is still very polarized uh, and when, where many are still against the peace process. But it's very unfortunate that those who should make such a tremendous sacrifice for peace, who should uh, show a willingness to relive their suffering in order to contribute to a better society for the, uh, for the future, for their children, for their grandchildren, should have to go through this uh, at the hands of anyone. The news comes as a third delegation traveling to the peace talks arrives in Havana, Cuba to give their testimony. Among the 12 victims chosen by the United Nations and National University is Alan Jara, a governor who was held five years hostage by the rebel group, as well as Major General Luis Mendieta, who was also held by the FARC for more than 11 years. He is the first member of the military to represent military victims of FARC war crimes in these peace negotiations. The United Nations officials warned that as peace negotiations come to an end, there is a high possibility that the polarization in Colombia will deepen and that those that benefit from the war will step up their attacks against a future peace deal. Michelle Begue, CCTV, Colombia.